Friends, here is a chart in front of you in which there are eight planets in a sign. That is the Capricorn sign, and all the planets are there in the seven house. Now, how will we predict according to the traditional system of astrology? Venus is in the seventh house, so it is correct Bhavanas, there will be no marriage. Eighth Lord in the seventh, so it is bad. Twelfth Lord in the seventh, so it is bad. Sixth Lord in the seventh, it is bad. Ninth and fourth Lord in the seventh, it is Raj Yoga. Tenth, fifth is in the seventh house, it is Raj Yoga. And the result is that you are totally confused. Now when we Cancer Ascendant is there, then your colleague is also there in the seventh house. Again, there is a Now, whether the result of Rajo will come, Duryo will come, what will come, you don't know. How many plants get combust? Now, Sun is having close proximity with which planets? Now, you see, Sun is close to Moon, so it is Amavasya or whatever, and Jupiter is. 3 degree close to sun, so it is combust, the result of Jupiter will not come. So when you talk about such thing, you get confused. Now again then there are conjunctions. Jupiter Rahu is there, Jupiter Ketu is there, some yoga is there, Chandar yoga is there, no, it is Rahu, Jupiter, Chandar. Uh, Saturn Mars is there, he met with an accident or there are certain problems. Mars Venus there, there. He is a bad guy. Sun Saturn is there, there will be heart attack. Jupiter Mercury, Moon Mercury are there, they are enemies. Saturn Mars are their enemies. This is enemy with that, that enemy with that. Functional benefit is there, functional benefit is there. So you will talk about so many things. But what will happen, when marriage will happen, when property will be purchased, when these things come with the person has come to ask because the person doesn't know how many plant he has in the seven or whatever. You get confused, you cannot tell anything, you are just talking about some technical thing being taught to you and you remain confused in those things only and your point of view remains up to that only you because your knowledge is only that. So now when you really want to give prediction, there are simple rules that a planet gives the result of Lakshatra and Vishwara. Now you have to just see which nakshatra and which sublord are there of each planet. Like moon is placed in the Mars nakshatra and the sublord is Saturn, so moon will give the, will give the result of these also. So you can easily tell. Similarly, Saturn will give the result of these planets. Now as you see that 7 7 is repeated in moon, 7 7 is repeated in Saturn, and 2 7 is repeated in Mercury. So if marriageable is there, then magic can happen. So it is easy to tell when the marriage will happen. Now you want to talk about property purchase, you ask when the property will be purchased. Now you have to see the combination of 411 birth. Now you just see this Jupiter is signifying 411 birth, Rahu is signifying 411 birth, Venus signifying 411 birth, Ketu is signifying 411 birth. So when these planets period come into the picture, then the person will purchase the property, but you have to tell him that yes, there, will, there can be some dispute or you will have to take loans on it. Now that is another issue. Now if his mood is down, he is not feeling good, then the period will be Jupiter, Rahu and Venus and even Ketu because the depression combination is there. But you can tell him, okay, you are a person of positive approach because 5911 is there, you can tell that. Similarly, we ask about that some travel, when the travel will take place. He wants to go to foreign. Now, this planet is only having 9 moon. Mars doesn't signify 9 12. Sun doesn't signify 9 12. Mercury barely signifies 12. So, the planets which signify 3 9 12. Jupiter, Rahu, Venus, Ketu, the foreign travel will be there. So, you can predict in this manner. So if you have to predict, you are not to get confused how many planets are there in a sign. This is not going to give you any result. It is just a uh, discussion thing. You go on discussing, get amazed by the planets here. But if you want to predict, just see the nakshatra and the sublord and you get results. It is as simple as that. Thank you.